this is Craig here, and I'm back with a little bit of a mini haul. Um, I can't, you actually not going to physically see me yanking the stuff out of the boxes, but trust me, it just came in, because now I'm filming in my horror bathroom, as I called it, mainly because the lighting's freaking awesome, and until I get my fancy bulb replaced, it sure beats the visuals you had in the other spot. So, I have, let me get them off, address side away, we get some pins. I'm, I'd be happy to slow down a little bit on my pins, maybe because I got way too many, but I still do pick them up here and there. And this one, oh, this is freaking awesome. You might have seen, well, if you watch my channel, you've definitely seen me do a whole bunch of um, pins from Horror Host. Now, Horror Host has a whole awesome pins in general, but one of their lines is one of my top favorite lines, and sadly, it's coming to an end. But the ones I missed in issue, I was able to pick up all but one. And from the Horror Hand series, which unfortunately is ending at 10 and Pinhead is the last one, but I was finally able to pick up maybe the one that I should have wanted first, because it's the most iconic hand in horror, Mr. Freddy Krueger. That is very nice. You know, if you want to check out Horror Host's site, the information is right down there. Um, this is long sold out. I had to pay a little more for it than I would like, but it was like 25 bucks ship. That's not bad. You know, I know initially they start out like half than that, but you know what? I don't often go to the Saturday market. Um, however, you want to complete a set, sometimes you got no choice. Next we have... Now this is a weird pin, and this is from Graveyard Goods. I don't, yeah, you'll see it on here. Um, I, I bought this pin before, and I got it before. I think I got it before. I feel like I might have opened it and misplaced it, but I don't remember opening it. It wasn't in a video. So I wasn't sure about it, so I actually had to order another one. And I got another one because it's just freaking, you don't see anything from this movie, which this movie is nowhere near as good as people claim it is. They talk about being iconic. But it's also not bad, so people that shit on it don't know what they're talking about either. It Follows, and as far as I know, this is the only company that has a pin out from It Follows, and now I have it in my collection. So Graveyard Goods does awesome work, I have a few others from them, um, and I'm sure I'll get more as other things are released. And the last pin, no, that's the one I just opened. The last pin is one I ordered on Friday the 13th when every freaking pin company just went crazy with Jason pins. I admittedly did get quite a few. Um, that day I think I ordered like 14 pins. Not just Jason, there were some really cool Peanuts Halloween mashups and stuff like that from other companies. But one of the Jasons I got, a Cinema Thrasher from Arcade Days. Now there was a variant on this too, the 8-bit one. Unfortunately, I was too late to snag that, but I think that looks tremendous, and I'm happy to have it, and it'll go up on my new pin board as soon as I create it. But that's it for the pins. Next, we have two figures and a statue. Well, a pop. Amok Time Toys, and as an actual certificate of authenticity for two, which is awesome. Amok Time Toys had this on sale. And I wish I could say who it was in the horror group that posted about it, but for 40 bucks, considering they were up at 100 in the beginning, I will buy this every day of the week and twice on Saturday. From the reanimator, you have the walking hand, the eyeball hand, which, that's just a thing of beauty, folks, a little bit with the box. You know, there's not a ton of reanimator stuff out there. I know Neck is making some figures of him. I actually have... The figure from Moonstar is hanging up right over here. You can't see it. See it? I'm not going to move the camera, but very nice. Next figure we have. You might see here big crown motif, right? You here you have Kill Crown from Outer Space, the tall guy. You have up there Tiny. I'm not sure you can make it out. I was recently looking to buy something for a trade box I did. But in addition to it, I bought myself something as well. And Tiny... There's a version, version of, it's not, the, it's not meant to be tiny, it's actually shorty, but it's the same sculpt, just different paint. 
But Shorty was in the better scene to me. The whole, what are you, knock your block off or knock my block off? So I did pick up from Killer Crown to Mass Space. Tiny, uh, Shorty. So now I have Tiny, I have Shorty. Is this Slim? I don't know if they did the name on this one. I know they don't make Fatso. I wish they did. I love the Fatso mask. I may eventually pick that up. And the last figures I got was a two-pack. And this one thing I'll say about this is I have haunted this forever. And people always just put up too high. And sometimes it sold really high, so I can't fault them for that. And sometimes it just didn't sell. So I was on the lookout for a cheaper one. And there was one put up cheaper. And I got my bid in towards the end. And thankfully I won it. But we got the Cult Classics 2-pack, Sean and Ed, the Winchester 2-pack. And there's a lot of neat things included in here, although this will most likely stay in packaging. I know I'm one of those folks, but I love that. I've won that for so long. I know there's a zombie version of Ed. If I could pick that up somewhere along the way, maybe I will. But otherwise, I'll take that any day of the week. Thanks, folks, for checking out my video. It wasn't, wasn't too long, you know, but... A lot of goodies in there, and I have some new unboxings coming soon, I promise. But as always, like, comment, subscribe down below, and have a good one.